Hi, this is Greg Abston from the Laser Training Institute of Professional Medical Education Association. Welcome to our short video series on medical laser training. Hi, in today's laser lab, we're going to be talking a little bit about laser safety as it relates to homium YAG laser use uh, in terms of eye and skin burns uh, and not transmitting through water. So for this demonstration, I've got the laser set up about 10 times per second at 1.2 joules, which is 12 watts average power. That's a typical um, laser setting for fragmentation. Now, it's not one of the higher power homeums for dusting, where you go up to, to much more power than that, but generally no more energy than that in terms of joules. So the same principles apply, it's just on the higher powered units, um, the distance where a burn could occur is just a little bit farther. You'll see on this one, it's a matter of inches. You won't burn anything past a few inches. Uh, on the 100 waters, um, I don't have one here to show you right now, but that will probably be, oh, I'd say two feet, three at the max, but usually two feet in doing this. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to take this homium yag. Um, I'm going to break and do close up so you can see it. I'm going to start with um, a tongue blade to show you the burning effect that the laser actually is working. Then I'm going to put my hand under some fluid and fire at it like really close within fractions of an inch and you see it doesn't do anything because the water doesn't protect it then I'm going to do what the American National Standards Institute calls an equivalent assessment where I'm actually going to shoot my hand with a laser and I'll explain what I'm feeling. It's just a little bit of warmth even at this distance away. And the key here is that the maximum permissible exposure level, the MPE, uh, of the cornea of your eye, the front part of your eye, is exactly the same as it is for skin. What's that mean? If you shoot the laser at a certain distance at your hand and it doesn't burn it, you would not burn your eye shooting at that distance either. And these homium lasers are roughly around 2100 nanometers, which me means it's outside the range that can get into your eye. Um, in your eye, it's got to be between like 400 and 1400 nanometers. Past that, it will not go back into your eye so that your focusing lens can't focus it on your retina. So basic safety principles here. And let's take a look and see how that works. I'll uh, zoom in for the close-ups. All right, this homium laser has a green guide light with it. Most have red, but this one happens to be green. Of course, that's not the actual laser. You can't see the 2100 nanometer homium YAG. So on a clean tongue blade, let me show you that this is live firing out here in the air at 1.2 joules. I'll start from far away, and then you can see the effects as the power density increases because the spot size gets smaller. All right, it's firing. I'm going closer, closer. Ooh, there we go. Yep, that's real. That works. Um, now, let's do the same thing with my hand. I'm not even going to break on the video. It's still at the same setting. Uh, let's get my hand in the video so you can see it. And I've got this going, and I'll describe to you what I feel. All right, it's firing now. Ooh, yeah, I feel a little bit of warmth like a sun lamp. Um, and how far is the fiber here? Let me back the, oh, you can see the fiber. Uh, so now if I go closer, yeah, now it's starting to get a little warm. Well, all right, we'll stop. How far away was I? About five inches. So it doesn't take much to be safe. Now let's do the same thing under fluid. I'm gonna put my hand in here and then take the laser fiber, get it reasonably close. I'm not totally stupid. I'm not gonna touch my finger with the fiber, but as it fires, there we go, 1.2 joules. There we go, I'm outside of that steam bubble. So I can't really feel anything at all, and I'm within less than half an inch away from my skin when I do this. Uh, see, I'm not burned at all when I do that. Okay, now for a final demonstration on the relative safety of distance from a Holmium YAG laser. Remember, the wavelength does not get into your eye, but it could burn the surface of your eye if you were close enough. But you've got to be pretty daggone close to do that. That's not called laser safety, that's called stupidity. Don't pick up the fiber, hold it an inch away from your eyeball, and step on the pedal. That would be a problem. Okay, I'm set up at 1.2 joules, 10 hertz, at 12 watts average power. You've already seen this on my hand. Let me do that out here so you can see. And I hope you can hear the beeping in the background. It is firing, I feel the warmth. 
Now, what I'm about to do right now, let me put my disclaimers out. Please do not try this at home, at work, or anywhere else. Um, I've been doing this for more than 40 years. Some people would consider me uh, a laser safety expert. I do know what I'm doing with this. So I want to show you what happens with this laser at the settings that I just had if I point it directly at my eye from a distance. I am not going to hurt myself. Remember what I said, MPE values for skin are exactly the same as they are for the eye. So if it does not burn the, my skin, it's not going to burn the skin of my eye, which is my cornea. So let's take a look at this. The laser is set up, same settings. Um, I've got the fiber pointed to my face. Now, another word, the first rule in laser safety is never point fibers at anyone's face. I'm doing this just so I can take some of the stigma away from this because people don't believe that you won't get hurt with a homium laser. Now, don't push your luck, but watch this. So, how far am I right here? That's pretty daggone close. So, if I hit it, yep, I feel warmth on my face right now. I'm shooting it right in my eye. My skin feels warmth more than my cornea does, but it's open. I'm looking right at it. It's not a problem. How far away was I? That far? Well, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to go to two inches and try to do the same thing. But the point is this. Uh, if you're working with a Homium YAG laser, it really is fairly safe. You've got to be very close to someone to burn them. The real risk really is breaking a fiber in a surgical field where there are a lot of paper drapes and setting a f uh, fire. That is a problem. But this concern about people having eye problems around the room uh, is just nonsense. You're not going to have that. You could make the case that if you're going to be right there close up, you need to wear the glasses. Yeah, you can do that if you want to be ultra conservative, but really it's just a few inches. Um, and the laser safety officer is allowed to use their uh, judgment and equivalent assessments, which we just did with my hand, in order to set up nominal hazard zones. And the ANSI standards, if you're doing an endoscopic case, they say you can elect not to use safety glasses anyway. So you got those two things going for you. So you decide for yourself. I just wanted to show you here what the real risks are.